God and his word comfort us when we're sad. Let's talk about that. And first, let's pray. Um, God, thank you so much that you love us and you comfort us uh, during our hardest times. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's dig into God's word. We're reading from Matthew chapter 5, Isaiah 61, and Revelation 21. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. The Spirit of the Lord God is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and freedom to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor, and the day of our God's vengeance, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, festive oil instead of mourning, and splendid clothes instead of despair, and they will be called righteous trees, planted by the Lord to glorify him. Then I heard a loud voice from the throne, Look, God's dwelling is with humanity, and he will live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and will be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Grief, crying, and pain will be no more, because the previous things have passed away. This is simply a great promise from God's word. If you've ever been sad, know that God will comfort you. If you're afraid of death, know that God will take away all death. If you've ever been in pain, know that God's going to heal every scar. God's plan includes making every wrong into right. God's plan includes turning every sorrow into joy. And he does this because he's good. Because God is good, he's going to make all things good. Um, So look forward to that and rejoice in that. And even today, when someone else is sad or in pain or afraid of death, comfort them. Comfort them with the same comfort that God gives to you and remind them that God is good. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.